All right, this is going to show you how to create stairs to go down to your foundation. So the first step you want to do is grab your your floor, and we want to edit the boundary of the floor. Um, and the way that we edit the boundary, we're going to define this space here in the corner as not having a floor is to collect, uh, select the walls that define the stairwell area. And you see that second pink line goes to the wrong side of the wall. Use these blue arrows to flip it to the right side. We also need to clean up these corners. So you're going to choose the trim extend and just pick the two uh, lines to sort of fillet them together like we do in AutoCAD. Once you're done and you've created a nice clean boundary like I have here, choose the green check marks to finish the edit mode and your uh, floor will now match the um, the boundary that you've defined. If you get a warning that says do you want to join your walls to your floor, go ahead and say yes to that um, and uh, you'll be in the same situation that I'm in here. Alright, we do need to create the floor from the foundation because you have to create, uh, uh, excuse me, the stairs from the foundation. So you have to create stairs from the bottom up. So I'm going to go to the foundation uh, view and you notice that I have my uh, first floor walls and information overlaid over my foundation view. You can do that by selecting the foundation name in the browser, like I've got here. See how it's highlighted in blue? And then um, in the edit properties, you will see that there is an underlay option. And we want to underlay this with the first floor. So if you have that first floor turned on, it might be set to none right now. So it looks like this, and you're going to change that to first floor and apply. And you'll see your first floor information. Now we're going to create a set of stairs. Um, and the stairs are going to go, I want you to, f uh, for now, notice that I chose when I created the stairs, I chose, um, um, I chose the stair by sketch. Let's make sure you're choosing stair by sketch and you should end up automatically getting 7 by 11. You notice I had a different uh, stair type there. It's because I, I have an extra stair type in here because I made one. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make one. So we're going to click to click here, hold on, down our button on our mouse, and then release and click again to just define that full set of stairs. Now the stairs aren't set to the right uh, 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 tread and riser heights. So um, in order to fix that, I'm going to undo because you saw how long the stairs were and I'm going to edit the type of stairs before I define them. Because this is set up for commercial, we're going to duplicate them and I want this to be set up for um, just a regular basement set of stairs which don't need to meet egress requirements. So I can use an 8 inch riser and a 10 inch tread and that would be completely acceptable acceptable to use for a basement set of stairs. Okay, um, so I need to reflect those same changes in our tread depth and riser height. So now I've set up a, a stair style that's going to work with the basement stairs. Now I want to also define which what my top level is going to be. So top of wall is going to be to, um, I mean the uh, top level should be to the first floor. Um, and then we know that we're de obviously defining stairs from the foundation so we don't need to define a foundation. Uh, there's a top offset. Uh, there will be a bottom offset we're going to have to add uh, once we define the stairs but we can do that uh, oh, excuse me, there's a base offset right there. So we have foundation, and our base offset should be to the top of our slab or four inches above our foundation level. All right, now we're ready to actually define the stairs by run. So we click on run, and I want to click here and drag in the direction I want the stairs to go in. So it's defined 12 treads to get from foundation to first floor. And we want to see what those 12 treads look like. So I'm going to hit the checkbox. And it would be helpful for us to see a section view in here. So just to remind you how to create a section view, you can always create one and delete it. doesn't matter. You can make as many as you need. So I'm going to click on a section view. And pick here. And then pick over here to define the direction I want to view the section in. And then we can double click on the section view so we can actually see those stairs in section. 
those stairs have been defined perfectly because that tread right there we're going to end up extending to make it into a landing and then we want to make sure that this distance from here to the edge of the stairs is three feet so I'm going to choose the annotate button and click on aligned and pick on the edge of the wall and the edge of the um, uh, <coughs> riser there on the stairs then I can use the stairs as my highlighted object and put in a number that I want that to be. Now because I'm going to the edge of the foundation wall this is going to automatically be set so the landing will be the right size if I set that to three feet. The top of the landing, that last tread, I want to extend it and turn it into um, a longer tread. And I'm going to show you how to do that with, with uh, editing the boundary of the stairs. So let's go back to our foundation view. I'm going to select the stairs and edit the sketch. And I actually want this last um, riser to go all the way back here and be aligned with that wall. Do you see how that's going to extend that and turn that into a tread? I mean a uh, a landing rather than a tread because we've made it uh, three feet ten inches wide. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm going to just clean up the stair widths and have them match my my wall widths. Um, and then uh, uh, check the sketch. That's okay. Uh, that warning is okay. So let's look at the section and see. Now, what's problematic is that we have this uh, extended handrail. And if we look at our foundation view, we really only need the handrail to go to a certain level. We And we also don't need both handrails. So I'm going to select the handrail on this side and delete it. And then select the handrail on this side and we can edit the path of that handrail and have it only go to a certain level. So I'm going to have that go to about here and then that way we, when we look at our section we're going to see that the handrail is only going to go to a certain section. Um, if we, we actually need to flip our view so um, let me go back to our section view look at our uh, I mean our foundation view and I want to flip this section so we're looking at it in the other direction so I'm going to go like this whoops like this and then we can go back to that section view and then we can see on the in the reverse direction we can see where that handrail is going to start for our stairs um, that's more or less what we need to see uh, we can make some other changes like for instance I don't really need to see the stringer so I'm going to select the stairs and I'm going to turn off the stringer. Uh, we can't maybe do that through here so let's go into edit type and I'm going to get rid of the stringers altogether. So I don't want to see my stringer. Where are my stringers? Here they are. We've got right stringer and left stringer. Instead of having it say closed I want none and none apply that, hit OK, and now we just have a nice straight set of stairs that we can see uh, to the landing for our door to enter into our kitchen. Perfect. Now I am going to also make a door across from this. It's going to be an exterior door to the house so we can enter into the landing space to go into the kitchen for the backyard. So I think that would be a convenient entrance. So I'm going to take away that window and put in a door and I want that to be an uh, 3680 door that goes in that direction and that should do it for us. So let's take a look at our 3D view and what I want to show you is that you can see down into the stairs into the basement so you can see how we're going to be able to walk onto that landing from the outside and go down into the basement or we can go into the kitchen um, yeah, so we're, things are moving along. So in the next uh, video, I'll show you how to add a ceiling joist and put in a roof. Um.